guys, welcome to the dollhouse. Today I want to share with you guys the things that I've picked up at the semi-annual sale from Victoria's Secret and from Bath and Body Works. So the first two things I'm going to show you guys are these matching pink sunset items. I have the lotion and I have the fine fragrance mist. And this smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. If you like those, definitely pick this up because this is exactly what it smells like to me. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. It's just the pink sunset on the front of the lotion bottle. The back of the fine fragrance mist has this beautiful description displayed on the back. I think it's adorable. The next thing that I picked up was this oh so sexy fragrance mist and this is in the travel size and this one was five dollars and I forgot to mention that the pink sunset duo that I picked up were six dollars each but back to oh so sexy this smells really fruity and fresh it's like an apple perfume blend okay so the next two things I picked up a few months ago um not from the semi-annual sale but they were on sale for five dollars each I picked up Heavenly. I also picked up the Victoria's Secret Bombshell in the travel size. They're both in travel sizes and Heavenly smells like white musk. It's a really mature scent. It's like a white musk and vanilla. That's what I get from Heavenly. I really do like it. And I also, Bombshell is one of my favorites. It's very long lasting and it's like a fruity floral. And I get passion fruit from this. So I was so obsessed with Bombshell that I had to pick up the regular size in the fragrance mist. I have been wearing the mess out of it. I love Bombshell. And then I also decided to pick up Tease Flower. And Tease Flower is another fruity floral scent. I It's not my favorite, but I can appreciate it. It's a nice scent, but it's really not my type of scent. So... It's kind of just hanging around for the pretty packaging. Yeah, I know guys, but I do buy things sometimes just for the packaging, even if I don't necessarily like the smell as much. And these were on sale at the time when I bought them. I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly how much I paid. I know I didn't pay full price, but it was somewhere between eight to $10 for each of these. I also picked up this Beach Flower Body Lotion, and this is a really pretty scent. I really enjoy Beach Flower. It's so sweet and just lovely. It smells exactly like the name. So this is definitely a recommendation if you don't have this one. I really recommend this for summer. It's a really lovely scent. And at the time when I purchased my Beach Flower Lotion, they had an offer going on. If with any pink purchase, you would get a free pineapple cup. So I really needed this cup and I have been enjoying it. It's so cute. It has pink on the front and it has a pink swirly straw. And I felt like I would die if I didn't get it. So I had to get it. And I've been enjoying it this summer with my little drink sitting poolside and beachside. Love it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this three-wick candle. These just appeared around the semi-annual sale online. And they're originally priced at $18. I did not pay $18 for this candle. It wasn't on sale, but I used my rewards money on this. So I think I ended up paying on like only like $6 for the candle. And I thought that wasn't too bad. And oh my god, it is so good like this candle smells amazing it smells just like fresh laundry and flowers it smells so good i can't wait to light this up and see how it throws i love the details on this candle it has the little dog and polka dots all around the jar and that's what the front looks like it doesn't come with the lid it comes with the little dust cover on top also, I peeped a few people talking smack on Instagram about this candle saying, oh, you're stupid for buying this candle. Whoever bought this candle is stupid, blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah, because it's supposedly a dupe for a candle that Bath & Body Works has. But I don't have that candle. And even if I did, if I wanted to buy this exact candle, I would. And even if I didn't have the rewards to use on this candle and I wanted to pay $18 for this candle, I would if I really wanted it. It's my money and I don't have to explain myself to anybody or anyone. Thank you. The next thing is this gold lips pouch and 
it can be used for anything you can put your makeup i think my phone maybe would fit in there i'm not sure but it's adorable and it was a great pop a great price too good to pass up i think i paid 3.99 for this one and it's just so cute i had to have it i felt like i needed this i would die if i didn't get it I also picked up these slides a few months back. I used another rewards on this so I didn't pay anything for these and I think at the time they were like 20 something dollars and they just they're pink and they have pink written all on the all over the straps and these shoes are so comfy. I recommend these. I got them in a size medium so if you're like a size 7, 8 shoe then you can wear the medium and this was one of the best purchases ever. Okay, so with this same reward that I just mentioned, I picked up this sleep shirt and it's so comfy. It's really oversized and it says, we'll wake up for brunch pink with the little unicorn colors in the pink font. I love this shirt. It's so comfy, like I said, and I got it in a size large. Love it. All right, so moving on to the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale bag. I picked up this adorable hoodie. So this is my quarter button up pullover sweatshirt. I really don't know the exact name for this, but it's super cute. It's cropped. It has pink going down the sleeves. Well, one sleeve. And it has the little dog on the front. And the back is just plain. And it has pink written around the inside of the neck. And the original price, oh, it's in a size large. The original price for this shirt was $49.95, but I got it on sale for $26.99. I knew that I was going to forget something. I always do, but I caught it before I end this video. I picked up Island Glow in the travel size and Wild at Heart. These were $6 each at the time when I purchased them. And Island Glow is just like a fresh tropical if that makes any sense it's fresh but it's still like something kind of sweet and tropical about it and wild at heart is just a fruity floral it's really sweet i really like wild at heart it's one of my favorites okay so finally i'm on to bath and body works so i picked up these three candles and they were on sale at the time for ten dollars each and i picked up blushing pink rose petals exact same as winter rose i have winter rose and i really do love that candle so i don't mind blushing pink rose petals is a gorgeous label oh my goodness i'm so in love with the label and can we talk about the lid it's beautiful on both and i also picked up white peach and i got another dupe because it's exactly the same as georgia peach to me i know some people say that they can smell a difference but to me they smell exactly the same and again the lid is gorgeous on here love it the star of the show berry waffle cone this one has mixed reviews i personally love this candle on cold it smells exactly like the name i get berry i get the waffle cone it's just a beautiful beautiful blend and i can't wait to burn this one i think i'm gonna burn this one today so i picked up the bonjour paris shower gel and i already have a fine fragrance mist and a body cream in this but i wanted to um get the shower gel because i really do enjoy it it's my favorite from the france paris collection whatever this is my favorite one i will say that the shower gel doesn't smell as good as the body cream and the fragrance mist but i really do still enjoy using it together because it makes the scent last longer so glad that i picked this up i also picked up more of the creamy luxe hand soaps i am obsessed with the raspberry rose this oh i'm not even going to talk about it because i would go on for hours and hours and hours and we're not going to do that but i picked up two more of those and then i picked up water lily and lilac that one smells really really nice also so i thought i would give it a try i also picked up these two foaming hand soaps and sweet berries and cream i never get foaming because i feel like they don't last as long but this was all they had left and i really wanted to try this scent so i picked it up in the store these hand soaps just smell like sweet blueberry pie so delicious my god i want blueberry pie now and i know i don't need it but i want it and i think i'm gonna get it 
But yeah, this is a really lovely scent. I think I'm gonna put this one in my kitchen. I posted Plumeria in my last haul, but I went back, I had the shower gel, but I went back and I got the body lotion and the fine fragrance mist to match it because I love it so much. It's just a really plummy floral scent. It's like plum and and flowers. Plum plums and flowers mixed together and it's a beautiful scent. I really like Plumeria. And I decided to pick up Sun and these were all 75% off. And Sun is just a really citrusy floral scent and it smells really nice. I really enjoy Sun. So picked up those three. The next thing and the last thing is the Sensual Amber Fine Fragrance Mist in all I smell is amber. I guess I like amber when it's mixed with something like a sweet fruity note. Then I really can appreciate it. But just as far as having amber alone, I didn't really like this one. So I think I'm going to return this today. We'll exchange it. Also, I had another fine fragrance mist in this. And I had the lotion also. But I gave that one to my mom because like I said, I really didn't like it. I thought I did in the store. But once I got it home, I really... Do not like this one at all so I'm gonna return it we'll exchange it might go to the store today I hope I can it's really hot here it's gonna be a hundred degrees outside so really don't feel like leaving my house but we'll see I really hope you guys enjoyed my haul don't forget to subscribe comment give me a like follow me on Instagram all of that good stuff you know the routine become a part of the dollhouse I would love to have you Oh, and I also have a birthday haul coming up, so stay tuned for that because I got some really cool stuff that I would love to share with you guys. And I also plan to have a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. Lots of good things coming your way. Bye, guys!